DNA, and then these are the tags that will That's punch the tagging gun right there. The oh, there he is. Wow, he's quick. Guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Northwest Fishing Secrets. We're uh, doing some weird stuff today. This is gonna be a little different. We're uh, gonna trap fish and tag them if we find some. We're on a farmer's field right now, walking through to get to the creek. And uh, yeah, so this is really, really cool. I know this is their, these guys' is uh, everyday job with watching fish and wildlife, but I, I already told them earlier, this is like going to Disneyland for me. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. Oh, wow. This is gonna lack of a spear. So this is... Rock movement here. A fish trap, huh? Still need some, some cleaning. Oh, this yeah. is cool. Okay, so what happens? The fish, like, come up here, obviously. Mm -hmm. They can't pass through this. No. And then, but... And then the only place they can go raised, is over there. Raised part right there, these, the fish will swim up that raised chute and into the trap box. Got it. But this looks flooding too. It'll be going over. Like you can see where it's all setting. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's a high water uh, line. Well, any fish in there? Nope. No. Are we cleaning anything here or maintaining? Uh, if you wanna. Shovel rock for several hours, then yeah, there's plenty of rock to shovel. But no, we'll go check. Let's, yeah, rock. let's look for more fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, on to trap number two. Well, you guys were talking about sushi, like, dude, it's breakfast food. I mean, I don't know why we're on a sushi roll right now. I don't know. Oh, oh you get it? <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we're at the third, no, the second. We're at the second uh, trap now. Jump out again and see if we got a fish here. Ooh, this looks good. That water looks really fishy down there. So we had a pole with us, we'd fish this. I don't know what we're doing. It looks like we're dip netting, but I don't, I don't think this is more for science purposes. Grab my bag, my nice blue Ikea bag. I don't know why I'm carrying this around. <laughs> got waders in there just in case we need them and camera tripod and roll of kitchen towels. Oh, is a fish in there? Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah that was my check this morning. So yeah, what happens is the fish come up the chute here in through these fingers and then... Yeah. yeah oh, that's freaking cool. Yeah. Where's uh, I don't know, where's he sitting? Yeah, you see me up. Right over there? Oh yeah, I see him. So these things flood, they, the weirs go down every once in a while. Carson sends me funny text messages sometimes with, uh, yeah, the weirs completely flooded or full of rocks when he has to go in and shovel that all out. Mm -hmm. Lovely. We're gonna get you out here one time. Yeah. I get to shovel rocks yep. so that you guys get to catch more fish. Oh, I hope you all appreciate that. So we gotta fill out what the weir is, it's 1230. Depth is what, one and a half, one foot? Down the creek name, species is gonna be steelhead, length, sex, mark, and that stuff we'll figure out once we- We'll figure that all out. Awesome, awesome. Well, I am absolutely ready. So we're gonna, what, pull the fish out and then bring them in this cooler, cooler right there. Yep. Then we've got our, what, vials for DNA, and then these are the tags that will That's punch the tagging gun right there. The... Let's do this. Oh, oh, there he is. Wow, he's quick. Oh yeah. Oh, he's in. Oh, 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 oh nice. What is it? What is it? Wild. It's wild. Wild? It is a female. A wild female, huh? Look right there, girl. Jeez, she's beautiful too.
And now we're just gonna collect data about the fish, get a little scale sample, tag the fish. And does she, what do we do with her then? Take she her gets to, to swim upstream. Yep. She gets to swim upstream then, huh? I just need one more. So that's a scale sample that we just got there? Yeah. Is that tagging Scared. time then, or? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give her, give her a here. Wow. Oh, interesting. So you double tag the fish. Yep, double tag numbers. Uh, the first one's gonna be 09702. So that's just a little piece of skin or something? That, yeah, just uh, a little whole punch piece yeah. of her tail for DNA. Oh, cool. Length, we're good. Just need a wand when we put it in. Okay. All right. Clean. No That's yeah. pretty fantastic. So what uh, happens with this fish now? She's gonna swim on. So she's, she's gonna wild, go on upstream. Spawn. She's gonna find her mate. She's gonna spawn, and then probably April, May-ish usually is when we get the returns. She'll come back down here. And we'll have a, a kelp trap out, and we'll then recapture her. We'll see that she's already tagged. We'll just quick get her tag numbers down, and we'll put her below the weir, and off she'll go out to the the cowlitz and, and the Columbia. The return, huh? All right, and if you guys are brand new to my channel, well, this is like not all that I do. Usually I'm out fishing, but I do try and show you guys also just interesting stuff that happens up here in Washington, uh, anything related to outdoors and fishing. So if you guys enjoy that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. I upload videos like this every single week. What they had at one of the weirs was this awesome little uh, public display of leaflets about what happens there. So I'll just blend those in. So if you want, you can just pause, uh, read through those and find out exactly what's happening there and why they have those weirs there. So guys, I'm just gonna finish editing this video real quick. I'm gonna hang with the pups here. I gotta get to bed. It's super late at night and I gotta get up already at like 3.30 in the morning again to go ice fishing tomorrow in Eastern Washington. It's gonna be super sick. We're gonna go ice fishing and fish for some other like three species of fish I've never caught before. It's gonna get wild, really wild. So uh, I hope to get some cool episodes of that for you guys. We'll upload that next week. So uh, I hope to see you guys for that adventure. Until then, you guys of course know it, fish on.